again with another video. And today we are in Key Largo, Florida, in the Keys at Turtle Hospital. You guys already know my love for turtles. So we're basically just gonna bring the camera in and just give you guys a tour of their whole facility here. And I might even put the website down below so you can go donate to help save more turtles. What room is this? What room is this? It's just this is the surgery room. Surgery. Yep. This is the surgery room. <laughs> mm -hmm. All right. So this is that was the surgery room over there. This is the ER, the emergency room. You can see Walter, and we also have Snuggles in here. If you take a look, they do have a tumor load around their neck and around their eyes. Now, they've been in pretty good um, activity. They're eating well, and they're, but you can see Walter has a pretty heavy tumor load over there coming around his neck and underneath his flippers. And like I said, some of these tumors can become very uh, encumbersome. He's weak. He may have um, some uh, shortness in uh, off filter in his blood levels or oxygen levels. The lower the water, the weaker the turtle. So Darwin's in pretty uh, tough shape right now just to get him strong. Again, we want to get our turtles to a certain level of health and strength before we start going into the other parts of rehab. So, a lot of these little turtles that are living uh, in the shallower water, or just the little ones, have a virus that gives them tumors. And you can see those little, if you guys can see those little clumps on, on under them, on their necks and stuff, that's what those are. Together and we be able to uh, transmit that way. Uh, we try not to redo that, but because they're at the same level of their rehab, um, we are putting them in the same tank. Now we're here. So unfortunately, with global warming and uh, the loss of uh, area, the Maxine area, we keep those sands hot. So unfortunately, we have not the whole state of Florida in our lease. Not show one male. <laughs> Mr. Richie added rocks down to the bottom of this pool many, many years ago, and now it's growing its only its uh, own algae. Now this pool is 10 to 15 feet deep, depending on the tide. And right now, by the level, it looks like we're almost at high tide. The turtle was attacked by a shark. Now, Hanson That's why he's missing his fin. Hanson Boy came to us many, many years ago and she was treated for the fiber papilloma virus. We made a, and then after we uh, got her, she gained another little pound since she's been here. So I guess she figured that she's going to be a non-believable turtle. She's going to be the like that. Non -believable turtle. Here we go swimming in front of us. That's April. April was rescued in 1991, April Fool's Day. We're actually getting ready to feed the turtles right now, and you guys are going to see it. Then when we got into the hospital, we realized that he had fiber papilloma virus in his eye, and he couldn't save it, so we had to take one to die. So he suffered every tragedy that a turtle can suffer, so the are being in my town in cars. Here comes April. Again, I said, when turtles live in a big group, the taller the bale of the turtles. The turtles don't normally live in bale. Only live very soft. All right, so I'm going to give everybody a little turtle chow in their hand. 
We're going to feed the turtles. Now, if you notice, when you're feeding the turtles, they're going to be chomping at their food, and then they're going to be expelling excess water from their nose out. You see it? And this is how they naturally normally would eat in the ocean. They try not to, they don't so all water. the turtles uh, in this pool are permanent residents now, because they, of their they injuries. In there, they have a and these little inflations the on their body, oh, oh God, body, are due to being hit by boat props. And they have weights on them to help lift off some of the old skates to help fix that. And they keep the weights on them for some kind of buoyancy problem to be fixed. A lot of rock down here in the bottom of the pool, so they are actually getting a lot of a lot. These are turtles re rescued from from cold front. This one's name is, I can't see it. Pops, popsicle. This one's Popsicle. They're all named after cold things. This one is Toboggan. Amazing. This one is Iceberg, 400. And this one over here is Yeti. These little turtles are all the hatchlings. They can still find their food, they can still swim around the pool, but they can't see anything. So it makes them very depressed. Now, if there's something that's weighing her down, you can see because again, she's going to be in the hospital the entire time. So if there's no food, she's going to be in the hospital the entire time. Very encouraging to see that he's using all four of his hands. Thanks. 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 This is this is one of these is cheap. They're also in the name of their rehab, and they only have their eye surgeries left to remove those tumors from their eyes. But even though we remove all the tumors, they test for the to make sure that that virus is backing off. These are shiver. So it stays nice and hard. Again, we're Snow very encouraged because he does have all these and all four of his flippers. So we haven't seen now. We don't know about bubble butt syndrome yet, but he has use of all four of his flippers. Now, this is this turtle is Larry. This is Larry. He has a mesh over his head because he's still stressed out. He's still stressed out a little, so he has a mesh. All right, guys. Well, that was the tour. And me and my mom really enjoyed it. And I have to say, they're doing some amazing things out here. Some amazing people. Uh, they're, help, they're spending their entire life also living in these very, very small condos. Just because they're sheerly just dedicated to helping these turtles out. And I have some major respect for these people. I'll drop a link. I'll put a link to their website down below and a link to their social media. Uh, feel free to donate if you want. All right, guys. Well, with that being said, dive smart, do your part. We'll see you guys next time. Bye.